everyone, it's Taylor from Kimpatsu Cosplay here and welcome back to our channel. One of the questions we get asked the most is how we get our foam work so clean. So in this video, we're going to show you a couple of tips and tricks for working with EVA foam. Some of these tips may seem really simple, but they can make a huge difference to your final result. So if you're new to EVA foam or you just want to improve your foam work and get cleaner results, then we hope this video will be helpful. And if you guys would like to learn more about making cosplay costumes and cosplay armor, check out our patterns and tutorials on our website at kimpatsucosplay.com. All right, let's get to the video. Tip number one is choosing the right kind of foam. Not all EVA foam is the same. There are different kinds of foam which come in different densities and thicknesses. Softer EVA foam is great for making armor pieces, but it can be a little bit harder to cut. Harder or denser EVA foam is great for details and props. It's more rigid and you can cut into it really nicely. But this also means that it can be harder to shape and form. Tip number two, use a sharp craft knife to get clean edges. One of the most important keys to clean foam work is using a sharp knife. Cutting with a sharp knife will give you a super clean cut and you will slice through the foam like butter. Using a blunt knife will create rough edges and rip the foam, giving you a not so nice looking edge. So make sure you have some replacement blades or you can also sharpen your blades with high grit sandpaper or a knife sharpener. Number three, try to do one solid cut. Another important tip for getting super clean lines on EVA foam is to try cut the foam in one continuous smooth cut. This will give you the cleanest edges. If you have to come back and cut over the foam again and again, it can give you edges with weird lines on the side. Tip number four, using contact glue instead of hot glue. Contact adhesive is one of the best glues for EVA foam. It's super strong and bonds really well so your seams will never rip apart. Apply a little bit of glue to each side you will stick together and then let them get tacky. You can then press the two pieces of foam with the glue on together and when they touch, they'll bond instantly. Contact glue can also be applied really neatly so no glue will poke out the edges. Hot glue on the other hand is not really ideal for EVA foam. The glue itself is pretty thick and can often squash out between the seams, which can be really difficult to get rid of. It also doesn't bond instantly, so you may have to spend time trying to keep the seams together and fixing the splits. And because hot glue is activated with heat, if you want to heat up your EVA foam again and shape it some more, the glue can split open, making the seam messy. Tip number five, use your thumb as a guide to help line up your edges. Making a foam seam line up completely flush can be pretty tricky. To help line up your seams, you can use your thumb as a guide and place it on top of your seam as you join them. This will keep the foam pieces from misaligning. Number six, use a heat gun to remove the fluffy edges after sanding. Sanding EVA foam is a great way to get certain shapes, but it leaves really nasty little rough pieces all over. To get rid of these, you can melt off the little fluffy pieces with a heat gun. You can also press the edges when they're warm to get them extra smooth. Tip number seven is heat sealing your foam. Heat sealing can help with priming and getting rid of the porous surface on the foam. When heated with a heat gun, the foam tightens up and the little pores in the foam surface shrink. This makes the surface of the foam a bit smoother and will stop it from absorbing too much of your primer. Tip number eight is heat shaping foam. Sometimes it's not enough to just glue pieces together to get your desired shape, and the EVA foam may not always do what you want. But with a little bit of heat, you can easily bend the foam to your will. Just heat up the foam with your heat gun and bend it into the shape you want. Make sure you let the foam cool down. This is what will lock it into position. You can also use heat to press cool shapes and textures into your EVA foam. Tip number nine is hiding your seams. To hide the seams on your armor pieces, you can use gesso. Gesso is a flexible canvas primer, so it's great for using on foam. Just take a bit of the paste and smooth it on with your finger. You can also smooth it out even more with some water. Once the gesso is dry, you can repeat this process until your seam is completely hidden. And finally, tip number 10 is priming. All EVA foam is like a sponge, so to get a more plastic or metallic looking surface, you'll need to prime your EVA foam. 
Luckily, there are tons of options available to prime foam with. A few examples of foam primers are PVA glue, Mod Podge, Flex Bond, and Plasti Dip. Apply a few layers of your primer to the foam and then you'll have a nice smooth surface ready for paint. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. When it comes to getting clean foam work, it really is about these small practices that can make a huge difference. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so that you can get notified when we put up new tutorials. Bye guys!